What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to evaluate a piecewise function. So here's our function right here. f of x is equal to these three functions right here, three, x plus two, and four x, okay? Now, you're gonna use this first function, three, if the number you're evaluating is less than, or if it's smaller than, negative two. Okay, if the number you're evaluating is between negative two and positive five, so here it says x is greater than or equal to negative two and it's less than or equal to five, then you're gonna use this function right here, the x plus two, okay? And then lastly, if the number you're evaluating is bigger than five, then you use this last function right here, this four x, okay? So here we're given four different numbers to evaluate, right? Five, 10, negative eight, and negative two, okay? So we're gonna figure out which definition each of these numbers fits into first, and then we're gonna use the corresponding function, okay? And each of these numbers are going to only fit one of these definitions or descriptions, okay? It's not gonna fit into two different ones. So uh, let's do this first one right here. So f of five, or just five, right? So where does five fit into these three descriptions? All right, well, let's try the first one. Um, is five less than negative two? Is that a true statement? No, because five is bigger than negative two, right? So it obviously doesn't fit into this first description. What about the second one? Okay, if we plug in a five for x right there, does this description work? Is five between negative two and five? Yes, it is. And specifically, five is less than or equal to five, right? So that means positive five fits into this second description right here. So we're gonna use this second function or equation right here, x plus two, okay? So f of five is equal to x plus two. Now we're just gonna plug in our number five in for x. So this is gonna be equal to five plus two, which is equal to seven, all right? So hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's try this other one, uh, 10. So does 10 fit into this first description? No. Does it fit into this second description? Is it between negative two and positive five? No. Does it fit into this last description? Is 10 greater than five? Yes, it is, right? So that means we're gonna use this third function, so 4x, right? So we're gonna say f of 10 is equal to 4x, and then we're gonna plug in our 10 into our x right here. So this is gonna be equal to four times 10, which is equal to 40, okay? Next one, negative eight. So where's negative eight fit into these? Uh, so is negative eight less than negative two? Yes, that's a true statement, right? So for negative eight, we're gonna use this first function, which is just the number three, okay? So we're gonna say f of negative eight is equal to just three, okay? There's no x terms up here, so that means there's no x terms right here, okay? We don't have to plug in negative eight into anything right here, okay? It's literally just equal to three, okay? So f of negative eight is equal to three, and then lastly, right here, we have negative two, okay? So let's try this first one again. So does negative two fit into this one? Is negative two less than negative two? No, negative two is equal to negative two, right? So what if we plug in our negative two right here? Does it fit in here? Is negative two greater than or equal to negative two? Yes, it is, right? So we're gonna use this second one again, so x plus two, okay? So then this is equal, so f of negative two is equal to x plus two. So this is equal to negative two plus two, which is equal to zero, right? So f of negative two is equal to zero. All right, and hopefully that's how many problems you're gonna miss on your next test. Good luck. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.